Hello once again, I am Ibrahim Qabil. Starting with the presidential file, President Abdel Fattah Sisi congratulated Britain's Keir Starmer after the landslide victory of the Labour Party and the appointment of the leader as new Britain Prime Minister. On his social media account, the head of state expressed keenness to resume mutual cooperation with the United Kingdom in various domains, reflecting the deeply rooted ties that bind the two friendly nations and the will to continue joint work to achieve development and stability on both regional and international levels. University Saints Islam Malaysia has awarded an honorary doctorate in uh, Quranic and Sunnah studies to his uh, eminence chairman of the Muslim Elders Council and the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar Sheikh Ahmad Al-Tayyib. The Grand Imam was awarded the scientific degree in the attendance of Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim and President of the University along with the several ministers, scholars, professors, researchers and Malaysian students. Sheikh Tayyib expressed his pride in being in Malaysia, a Muslim nation that serves a living model of urban and economic development. His eminence voiced deep gratitude for having the opportunity to speak at the university, saying that the people of Malaysia are pioneers in establishing methodological and intellectual foundations in Islamic studies. Domestically, Foreign Minister Badr Abdul Ati stressed the importance of continued cooperation and coordination to pressure Israel into halting the war and uh, opening more crossings with Gaza to allow humanitarian aid to enter the Strip. This came during phone call with uh, Tor Winsland, the UN Special Coordinator for the Middle East, to congratulate Abdul Ati on his new position. Abdul Ati emphasized the crucial role of the UN institutions in addressing the urgent needs arising from the Israeli devastating war in Gaza. Furthermore, Egypt's top diplomat warned of the Israeli unilateral actions in the West Bank, including illegal settlement expansion and increased systematic arrests and raid on Palestinian villages. And back home under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the 26th phase of We Are All One initiative continues its uh, activities nationwide. The initiative distributed aid to citizens in new urban areas nationwide. The initiative aims at providing various food and non-food commodities to citizens at low prices. The initiative has hundreds of branches, including key super and hypermarkets nationwide, as well as interior ministries outlets Amen. The interior ministry has announced the increase of the super and hypermarkets participating in the initiative. The commodities are sold at a discount of 25 to 60 percent of its market prices.